One of the main problems that humanity has is the fact that they need energy and they need fuels for the energy. So they need to look for more ways to get their energy than just fossil fuels. And that's why doing research in something that might be a really good uh, alternative. I really, really, really like that. What I'm doing basically is that I have switch grass here, like this, plain old switch grass, that we hybridize into this. So what I'm basically doing is I'm putting this inside that thing, it's just basically a tube that can get to high temperatures. I run steam through it, so the switch grass becomes gas. In this lab, we're trying to create a genetic selection for bacteria to find out which are better suited to create unsaturated fatty acids. Unsaturated fatty acids can be broken down into a couple different things that can be turned into biofuels, such as biodiesel. It's like following a recipe. We just add in the different components and put them in the machine. It does PCR reactions, which basically take a piece of DNA and make copies of it over and over. I've never had an experience like this before. I've never worked in a lab before. I'm an environmental science major with a minor in computer science. So working with microbiology and biochemistry is very new to me. But I find it extremely rewarding because I care very much about sustainability. And this is an opportunity for me to work hands-on with methods that would yield actual tangible results. By refining, what you're taking is chemical building blocks and using catalysis to transform them into um, a valuable product that you can use. Most of my time is spent with this machine, running experiments constantly throughout the day. What's inside is a small catalyst, palladium surface, and we introduce molecules into the chamber. Uh, the molecule will stick to the surface of the catalyst and then we'll heat up the entire chamber and we'll see what happens, what falls off of the, the surface of the catalyst. And we'll measure that using something called a mass spectrometer and it measures um, different masses and it tells us what masses are present and, and how much is present. I think that it's great, um, a great learning experience academically because you're interacting with new people, it's a different campus, and different schools have different programs, different things to offer for you. But also, it's, it's a great experience personally as well because you have to branch out, you don't know anybody, you have to meet, you know, you have to establish a community for yourself.